Several studies failed to show higher perinatal morbidity and mortality associated with uncomplicated monochorionic compared with dichorionic twin pregnancy in cases undergoing planned vaginal delivery. However, concerns persist regarding the higher risk of complications in cases of monochorionic twin pregnancy. The aim of the present study was to assess, according to chorionicity, the perinatal outcome of twin pregnancy in which vaginal delivery was planned. In this analysis, the authors assessed, according to chorionicity, the perinatal outcome of twin pregnancies in which vaginal delivery was planned, that delivered at or beyond 32 weeks, with the first twin in cephalic presentation. Monochorionic twin pregnancies with TTTS or TAPS were excluded. The primary outcome was a composite of intrapartum mortality and neonatal morbidity and mortality. Subgroup analyses were conducted according to birth order and gestational age at delivery. Among 3,873 twin pregnancies meeting the inclusion criteria, 729 were uncomplicated monochorionic and 3,144 were dichorionic twin pregnancies. The rate of composite intrapartum mortality and neonatal morbidity and mortality did not differ between uncomplicated monochorionic and dichorionic twin pregnancies. No significant difference in the primary outcome was found between the groups on subgroup analyses according to birth order and gestational age at delivery. When vaginal delivery is planned and delivery occurs at or beyond 32 weeks of gestation, with the first twin in cephalic presentation, uncomplicated monochorionic twin pregnancy is not associated with the higher rate of composite intrapartum mortality and neonatal morbidity and mortality compared with dichorionic twin pregnancy.